Welcome everyone to Jotaiko. It was a long and treacherous route to get here, but it was all worth it. The first stage of our journey to Jotaiko was a very long trip through the Aba Tibetan region, which was super cool. Usually I hate road trips, but I have to say this place was definitely worth it. There was cool scenery all the way there. Let's check this place out. Time is limited, but that will not stop me from exploring all these little alleyways. One thing that really makes this place stand out is all of the wood architecture because most of the places I go in China, even in the countryside, use concrete. It's durable, it's fireproof. I mean, it's all around the good material, but like, look at this wood. Very classy. I saw a bunch of those buildings on the road when we were in Gansu province and I never figured out what they were. I thought they were some kind of Buddhist temple, but apparently they're mosques. The layout of this mosque looks exactly like a Buddhist temple. If not for the Arabic lettering and some of the little details inside, I honestly would never have guessed this is a mosque. Check out this little moss garden. I feel like they didn't put this here on purpose. It just grew, but I love it. Hello. <laughs> you are Zhangzhou? You are Hui Min. Hui Min. Oh. I saw that there is a Oh, I Looks like if we want to meet some Tibetans, we're going to have to go farther up in the mountains. So we definitely need to make a return trip to Aba when we have a little bit more time. But this was definitely an interesting little window into Hui culture. I'd never really met anyone from the Hui minority when I was living in Nanjing in eastern China, but this place is definitely Hui territory. Hello. Hello. Ni hao. But now it's time to head on to our actual destination, Jiu Zai Go. Oh my goodness, it's already winter up here. Look at the top of that mountain, and there's some light dusting on the pine trees. Everybody's out in the parking lot in this rest stop looking at the snow, taking pictures of the snow. It's snowing! Crazy! Yeah, I'm from the south. My home state in the US like only snows in February, so seeing snow at the end of September was like, what the heck? And then, finally, we arrived at our hotel. The most treacherous part of the journey hadn't even begun. The next stage in our journey was a very long and very windy bus route. And I know you think you've been car sick before. You think you've experienced a windy road before. Come to Jojai Go. It was off the chain. It was ridiculous. People threw up. Even Wei got car sick and he's literally never gotten car sick before. Before today, he didn't know what being car sick felt like. The route started off pretty normal. Nice flat roads, some little cabins, some scenery but it got wild pretty quickly. If you get car sick at the drop of a hat like me, you know when the road starts looping like this to not look at your phone, but unfortunately there were some amateurs in here who didn't know the rules and they looked at their phone and got sick. That's like the golden rule of car sickness, like keep your eyes on the window. There are even signs at each of the curves telling you which number it is. This place goes hard. Number 26. When's it gonna end? Midway up the never-ending looping road, we came into a huge bank of fog. Honestly, I'm not even sure if this is fog. We're so far up the mountain, maybe this is just a cloud. We're inside a cloud. Look at this white abyss outside. And there's a viewing platform over there, looking out at nothing. The crazy switchback road is over and we're out of the fog or the cloud or whatever that was. And we are almost there. 
but there's just one more hoop to jump through before we can see the pretty blue water. As with many other parks in China, of course, you gotta climb a million stairs before you can see the main attraction, getting that exercise in. Finally, after many, many, many stairs, we reached the thing that Zhou Zai Go is famous for. Dang it, my arm is too short. I can't reach it. Mission complete. Okay, time to go home. Look at this thing, the wonders of mother nature. The dead trees add a whole nother layer to the visuals of this place. Oh, look at this one. This one looks crispy. This one's been in there for a while. And this one has just been like completely consumed by the earth. This is such a unique place. I have never seen anything like this before. Kind of having a little pee pee. Yeah, show us that booty. Nice. This place is wild. The color changes based on what angle you're holding the camera at. We got blue and then green and then blue again. Crazy. See those tiny little specks on the surface of the water? Those are raindrops and they're about to get a lot bigger. Currently getting rained on, life is rough. Look at that river rage. Hi. 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 That's all for today, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this tiny glimpse into the beautiful mountains of Sichuan. We were in the Jiu Go area for a conference, so we didn't have a whole lot of time to do our own thing, but hoping to make another visit there, maybe next spring or in the summer. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next video.